Hey guys, we're back here at CS 2016. I'm Vlad and with me now is Hilemar from uh, Razer and he's going to talk to us about a couple of new products that the company is introducing here. First up, there's the Razer Nabu watch. Well, just taking a look at it from the outside, everybody's going to say the very obvious thing. It looks like a Casio G-Shock watch. So it's have you combined a Casio G-Shock watch with smart features from smartwatches? Is that what's happening here? We've designed uh, what we think is a Razer design uh, digital watch um, that has full features like alarms, stopwatch. And then we put a secondary screen at the bottom of the watch that displays um, notifications that you get from your iOS or Android devices directly to your wrist. So basically it's a digital watch that syncs up with your phone. That's really what we're looking at and it's very rugged. Um, but Razer is a gaming company, so is there any gaming angle to this product? Yeah, definitely. So one thing that the Nabu element does is watch-to-watch -watch communication. Um, so what that means is it's a little bit like a 3DS um, street pass functionality uh, where two people are wearing the watch or one person is wearing the watch or and another person is wearing the Razer Nabu band um, can shake hands and, co and exchange contact information. But what I'm getting at is this is an open platform that we're designing and that we have an SDK for and that other companies and app makers can use uh, and um, make apps um, to utilize that functionality. So for example, we have an app maker that made an app uh, where you shake hands and you can add each other on Steam and compare Steam profiles. The entry level watch is $149.99 mm -hmm. and it's available right now on Razor Store. You can pre-order it and it ships end of this month. So there's also a more expensive version that comes with a few more metalized parts, um, same functionalities and it's one four, uh, 199 Looking at the stand here, this is your new webcam. Exactly. The Razer Stargazer. Uh, so could you give us a quick run through of what it does? For streamers who are already streaming their game content at 60 frames per second, this is great because now they can stream themselves to match with that 60 frames per second. And the reason why it has uh, you know, all the sensors on the front is because it has Intel's real sense technology built in. Am I correct in thinking this is the first external webcam that has real sense built in? Yes, it is. Um, we're the first one that brings this uh, to market in a big way. And why real sense matters to gamers is being able to isolate the background because it has depth perception. You can have the streamers face down in the corner, but there is no background. Absolutely. And just nice and normally, you would need a huge green screen setup behind you with uh, with lighting and a, and a screen behind you that takes up your whole uh, room basically. With this camera, you can do it right in camera, so you can take this with you if you're traveling as a streamer, for example. Uh, you always have that cut out a silhouette of yourself right on the stream. This is going to come out in Q2 this year and it's going to be 199. So that's it from Razer guys. Stay tuned to The Verge. You can find us on theverge.com or on youtube.com/theverge.